Welcome to Calcutta Races Season 2020-2021 Spring Meeting First Day Wednesday 3rd February 2021 Race Preview Race number 1 the Obligado Handicap for horses rated 1 to 26 about 1100 meters. First we're looking at horse number 1 Adorinda speaking of which out of Adiella a very well bred filly owned by the Sum Stud and Kernel Stud trained by trainer James she has had one start this season and the only start of her career over a distance of 1,200 metres, where she came second to Yahalla, about four lengths behind. She beat Nandini Spet by a short head, who won very impressively. Adorinda is now being ridden by Jockey B. Mahesh. Next up, we look at number two, Bio Wolf, when legend out of Native Princes. Bio Wolf has had four starts this season. His last start was in race number 74, over a distance of 1,400 metres. He finished eighth in that race in a field of 14. He has got a drop of one and a half kilos after that run. Now running a distance of 1100 meters, stable jockey Hindu Singh has been declared to ride. Next we're looking at horse number three, Baluti, burden of proof out of Aquisia. Baluti has had four starts this season. He has finished third to Guitar Girl in his first start. His last run was in race number 78 over a distance of 1400 meters. He finished about four lengths behind the winner there. Same apprentice Aditya Kumar Jaiswal with an allowance of 4 kilos has been declared to ride. Next up, number 4, Stagger. Varaner out of Silk Road. Stagger has had only one start in her career over a distance of 1200 meters. She's running after a really long gap. She last raced in the month of December 2019. She is working well, looks fit. We'll have to wait and watch how trainer Javed has prepared her for the race. Stable apprentice Prathvi Singh, with an allowance of 4 kilos, has been declared to ride. Next, we're looking at horse number 5, Gold Ray, strong suit out of goodness gracious. Gold Ray has had 4 starts this season but has not made any mark with these runs. He was rated at 30 at the start of the season and now will be running at a rating of 18. He last raced in race number 60 over a distance of 1200 meters, where he finished 11th out of 12 runners. The blinkers have been taken off and pacify and hood have been put on. Next up, we look at horse number 6, Simran Spet and number 8, Buddy Holly. Both come from trainer Vikas Jaiswal stables. They both ran in race number 80, over a distance of 1200 meters. Simran Spet finished second, almost a distance behind the winner and Buddy Holly was a close third. Next, horse number 7, Ayana, West Virginia out of Canton Caper. The mare finished 11 out of 13 runners in her last start over 1100 meters. She is another contender in the race who is running after a long layoff. Her last start was in December 2019, more than a year now. Apprentice P. Tejeshwar has been declared to ride her this time. Race number two, the Love is Blind Handicap for horses rated 1 to 26, about 1400 meters. First up, we look at horse number one, Triple Distal. Corporate Jungle out of Daraika. Another contender from trainer Jasbi Singh's yacht who is running after a long layoff. He last raced in season 2019 in the month of March over a distance of 1400 meters, where he finished last in a nine horse field. In form, apprentice Rupal Singh is declared to ride him. Next, we're looking at horse number 2, Tomorrow Forever, and horse number 8, Wandering Angel. Both of them ran in race number 74, over 1400 meters, where Tomorrow Forever finished 12th and Wandering Angel finished 10th in a 14 horse field. Apprentice P. Tejeshwar has been declared to ride Tomorrow Forever, and stable jockey Vinay Jaiswal has been declared to ride Wandering Angel. Number 3, Caravel, King Dakar out of Zest. The chestnut filly ran on the first day of the season in the month of November over a distance of 1200 meters. That was the only start of Caravel in her career. Nothing much impressive from that run, but we'll have to see how much she has improved from that run, and also there will be 
a test of extra 200 meters and obviously the experience of jockey P.S. Chauhan. Next we're looking at horse number 4, Kiara, top class out of Marilyn. She has had one start this season and her only start in her career. She ran last in a 9 horse field over a distance of 1100 meters. She is running after almost a month now. Kiara has been tracking well. She has had some problem in the gates but the trainer has given her adequate gait practice and settled her well. The basket bit has been taken off and hood been put on as change of equipment. Next up number 5, Demonstrate Sedgefield out of Dixie Dallin. Comes from the experience table of HS Bar. The gelding has run 4 times this season all over shorter distances. This time it's a 1400 which should help Demonstrate. He hasn't placed in all his runs this season except for once when he came 5th. We have seen the combination of Mr. Bath and Neeraj win a lot of races in the past. We will hope Demonstrate run a good race. Next, we're looking at Spring Valley, win legend out of Angel's Glory. Spring Valley has had three starts this season. She came a close fourth to Ghost in her last start this season, over 1,200 metres. She hasn't done much in her next two starts, finishing sixth in her eight-horse field. She's running in a lower class now after a drop of two kilos. Next up, we look at horse number 7, Dothraki, and number 9, Romantic Zeal. Both ran in race number 78 over a distance of 1400 meters. Dothraki finished 4th and Romantic Zeal finished 8th in that race. Both have run several times this season, but not making any mark. Although Dothraki was seen finishing well in his last start, Romantic Zeal will be ridden by Aris Bhatti and Dothraki is being ridden by champion jockey Suraj Naredo. Race number 3, the Archer Handicap for horses rated 41 to 66, about 2000 meters. First, we're looking at horse number 1, Ghost, and horse number 3, Resolute. Both ran in race number 66 over a distance of 2400 meters. Ghost has had a good season so far, winning 2 and placing in top 3 in his 4 starts that he's had. Both of them ran very identical races till the straight. Resolute finished Four and a quarter lengths behind Ghost in the end. Both come from the same stable of Vijay Singh. Ghost is written by Hindu Singh and Resolute by Nikhil Naidu. Next up, we look at horse number two, Apna Time Ayaga. Apna Time Ayaga ran a good second to Big Star last week over 1400 meters. Apna Time Ayaga seems to be running very soon in a span of just three days, now running a distance of 2000 meters. Same jockey, Sujit Kumar Paswan, as last time, has been declared to ride. Horse number 4, Cliffhanger. Top class out of Lady Escort. Cliffhanger finished second to Black Pearl in the derby, about two and three quarter lengths behind. Cliffhanger loves to travel the distance. He is bred to stay. The Colt has had two wins and a second under his belt this season. In the hands of jockey Suraj Naredu, he should do good. Next up, we look at horse number 5, Pinatubo, Corporate Jungle out of Shivalik Stone. This will be Pinatubo's first start this season. He had a very good last season where he finished second three times. Pinatubo is tracking well. The only factor is he hasn't travelled this distance earlier. So, trainer Jasbeet must be very confident in the colt and apprentice Rupal Singh has been declared to ride. Race number 4, the Romantic Notes Handicap for horses rated 21 to 46, about 1200 meters. First up, we look at number 1, Treasure Hunt, number 6, Script, and number 8, Little Finger. All three ran in race number 60 over a distance of 1200 meters. Hindu Singh ran a very poor race on Little Finger. He never seemed to be in control of his mount, although he could have run a very good race that day. Script was also inconvenienced in the race by Little Finger. Script finished 5th and Littlefinger finished 6th. Treasure Hunt came out to win that race in the hands of jockey Nikhil Naidu, gone up by 3.5 kilos after that run. Horse number 2, Bunting. Bunting has drawn very poor races this season. She has had huge trouble in the gates, but trainer Javid Khan was really working hard and has settled the mare now. Bunting has not done much this season. She finished 9th out of 12 runners. In her last run, apprentice Peet Tejeshwar has been declared to ride bunting. 
Next up, we have number three, Communique. Communique has run three times this season, all over 1400 meters. Communique finished ninth out of 14 runners. The Gelding has run unplaced always. P.S. Chauhan has been declared to ride. Horse number four, Viraggio. Excellent art out of Windsor Manor. Viraggio has had four starts this season. The mare finished fourth out of 14 runners. Viraggio took a good jump, settled well till the bend, but could not get better, eventually finishing fourth. Rupal Singh is declared to ride her. Next up, we look at horse number five, Despacito. Let in more out of Silent Crystal. Despacito has had two starts this season. The mayor finished fourth out of 11 runners over a distance of 1400 meters. Despacito ran a fantastic race in the hands of Y. Srinath. She jumped well, came first at the bend, but could not keep up with the others. Finally, finishing fourth, trainer James McKeon has declared champion jockey Suresh Naredu with blinkers going off and basket bit and visor on. Horse number seven, Around the World, Net Twiz out of Celtic Princess. Around the World had her first and only start on the 26th of December over a distance of 1100 meters. She won the race beating Littlefinger, who is also running in this race. She jumped well and sat second and third till the bend, but travelled much better in the last 200 meters. She was seen finishing on. So the distance should suit her better, will now be written by Neera Travel. Race number 5, the Secret Fire Handicap, for horses rated 61 to 86, about 1200 meters. First, we're looking at horse number 2, Namak Halal, horse number 4, Gorish, and horse number 7, Foolproof. All three ran in race number 72, a small field of 5 runners over a distance of 1100 meters. Namak Halal came and won the race by half length to Foolproof, and Gorish finishing ahead behind Foolproof in third. Now, travelling 100 meters more, Let's see how close they run this time. Next up, we look at Valeris Thal. Valeris Thal last raced in race number 73 over a distance of 1200 meters. We, he was seen winning that race very impressively by four and a half lengths beating Atom. Valeris Thal jumped and sat last was improving his position till the end, but as it got the opening, it just stormed past the opponents. Horse number five, Pablo. Pablo has had one start this season over a distance of 1400 meters, where the gelding finished seven out of eight runners. Pablo traveled wide throughout the race. Rated at 69, Pablo is ridden by Kesai Kiran again, now running over 1200 meters can come up with a surprise. Next up, number six, Shimmering Star. Shimmering Star ran twice this season. It was not a very impressive first start, but came out and won his last start over the distance of 1100 meters. The gelding jumped well and took on the running and just did not let anyone pass him. In the hands of P.S. Johan, it really showed his class. Trainer Artki Doctor has declared the same jockey this time. Race number six, the Adjudicate Cup for horses four years old and over about 1400 meters. First up, we look at horse number one, Tutankhamun, number two, Prince Satsuma, number four, Awesome One, and number five, Amorous Fight. All four ran in the champion sprint over a six furlong. Prince Satsuma came out and won the race very impressively from Awesome One by a long neck. We did see a good finish with two ace jockeys fighting it out till the post. Amaris White, ever reliable from trainer Vikash's yard, came third about three lengths behind. Tutan Kamun took a fly jump at the start and was running after a long layoff who finished seventh in that race. Number three, New England, Arazan out of Autumnal. New England brass raced in the CM Verma Memorial Cup where it came eight out of ten runners over a distance of 1400 meters. New England had taken a good jump, sat third, fourth on the outside, kept coming till the bend, but could not accelerate any further. He has been tracking well during the morning hours. New England is being ridden by stable jockey, 
the Nature as well. Number 6 Arrow Field, Phoenix Star out of Dramaticos. The Gelding has had a very impressive last season and a good start to his Calcutta career where he won 4 races back to back. This season he has had one start over a mile where he came last. Arrow Field ran a good race but running after a long layoff. It might have required that run. Arrow Field is being ridden by Sujit Kumar Paswan. Number 7 Hartnell, Western Aristocrat out of Mother's Pride. Hartnell last race in race number 20 where it finished last out of 8 runners over a distance of 1400 meters. Hartnell has impressed in the past. Let's see how much has he improved from his last run. Rupal Singh is declared to ride. Race number 7, the Cascades Handicap for horses rated 21 to 46, about 1400 meters. First, we look at horse number 1, Fancourt. Fancourt last raced in race number 55, where she placed 4th out of 13. Horses. The winner of the race was Krisha's choice. We saw Fancourt being inconvenienced in the start, but as he was put under the stick in the straight, she just kicked on and was showing much improvement in the final stages, finishing about three lengths behind the winner. Next, we're looking at horse number two, Rare Bird, horse number four, Adonica, and horse number eight, Port of Spain. All three raced last in race number 61 over a distance of 1400 meters. Where Rare Bird finished 4th, Adonica finished 2nd and Port of Spain finished 7th out of 14 horses, winner being Estrella Star. Rare Bird ran a good race even though got interfered in the straight. Adonica has been maintaining a 2nd position form, not being able to break that spell and emerge as a winner for trainer H.S. Bath. Port of Spain's 3rd start in her career where she had an impressive 2nd in her 1st to Phoenicia Mist. And her second start was a seventh, probably should be put under shorter distances. Next, we're looking at horse number three, Shivai, and horse number nine, Leslie. Last race in race number 74, where Shivai finished 14th and Leslie finished 9th over 1400 meters. Both horses have been having very unimpressive forms and not being able to place on board. Shivai will now be ridden by Mohammad Imran and Leslie by R.S. Bharti. Next, we're looking at horse number 5, Wind Chaser. Last race in race number 78, where she came up as a surprised winner over 1400 meters with apprentice P. Vikram. Running again over 1400 with apprentice P. Tejeshwar. Let's see if she brings up another win for the trainer, keeping in mind the 4 kilo penalty she got after the run. Horse number 6, Right Moo. The Bay Colt last race in race number 53, where finished third out of nine runners over 2000 meters. He's raced thrice this season and always on board. He's run 1400 before, where he finished a long neck behind Zoya with A Sandesha, will now be ridden by apprentice P. Vikram. Horse number 7 beat the bank. The mare last raced in race number 17, where she finished 11 out of 12 horses. Winner was Dornish, over 1200 meters. She took a good jump, sat, settled well till the bend but could not make much of an improvement when she came under the stick. Now be ridden by apprentice jockey Dupal Singh. Hashtag Ask the Pro, send in your questions on the given number below. Log on to our channel Royal Calcutta Turf Club on YouTube and subscribe and keep sending in your questions if you want them to be answered. Signing off, Arijit and Melissa. Thank you.